Greetings, MacWarriors. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is TTB speaking, and welcome back to another episode of German Mac Engineering, the daily show where we build cold hearted, humorless, stompy robots for maximum effectiveness and efficiency on the battlefields of MacWarrior Online. And today, guys, we are playing the Catapult K2 in a shotgun build. And this one is uh, kind of risky. It's more a fun build than a very serious build. Basically what you do is you put a standard 250 engine in there to get 62 kph speed. So you are now playing a catapult K2 with assault max speeds. You take off all the armor from the arms, quite a bit from the legs, and just throw in two LB20s and six tons of ammo. And that is the build. Now as far as skills are concerned, I have chosen to go a firepower tree, magazine capacity 1 and 2, as well as one node of LBX spread improvement to try and help a little bit with that, but it's not really needed. It's just, just nice to have that since LBXs are our only weapons. I could go for the LBX spread 2 node, but unfortunately that's too far away and I don't want to spend the points here because I need these points for the survival tree. We get the full survival tree except those three nodes in the middle and of course no AMS because we don't run AMS. That will allow us to go into mobility and get full speed tweak and a little bit of torso speed as well as kinetic burst and hard break to basically be able to get into positions a little bit quicker and also um, get into cover or get out of cover, shoot and get into cover a little bit more quickly. Nothing in operations. Sensors I chose to go heavily into to go for full radar deprivation as well as a seismic sensor. And then on the auxiliary tree, double artillery strike, no cool shots needed, just double arty, and you should be fine. Alright guys, let's take this thing to the dropship and see how it performs on the battlefield. I'll see you there. Well guys, looks like it is time to visit the Grim Plexus. So, let's go ahead and push into range here. Um, I'm gonna go for my patented Gulf 7 side because I like that a lot more than Fox 7 nowadays because of uh, all the air strikes and artillery strikes against happening there and also it allows me to have a nice range on the enemy get a little bit closer and uh, potentially artillery shoot them online. in the sides uh, need to be careful though I don't want to be going alone since I'm just a lonely lonely tiny catapult and not a manly oh, massive oh, assault oh, mech so a uh, little bit of care is required oh look look the lerms are flying. The lerms are flying. So, let's see. Can we find Target anything spotted. here? Hello. No. Nobody here. Well. Um, oh, that was that was something big. That looked like an assault mech. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, lasers. Artillery strike online. <laughs> yep. He tried to hit me. He was going for me, but uh, luckily I dipped back down. So now I've got friends. Let's see if he likes my friends. Hello. Nobody here. Okay. Never mind then. There was some fire coming from here, so oh yeah, hehe. <laughs> somebody is definitely here, and somebody is definitely trying to do some damage. Let's give Data it a try. Suspense. Have another look. Nope. Affirmative. Got a Fafni buddy with me here, so um, let's let's see if he knows how to move. We've had this scene lately uh, quite a few times. Hello. Okay, that's good. I'm trying to move on the side of him so I can shoot any targets if they pop Target around. Um, nothing's happening. Okay. Keep following the Fafnir. Fafnir going in, which acquired. means TTB needs to be going in as strike. well. Uh, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom. Aha, nice hit. And he should be dead here, actually. He should be dead. There we go. He's dead. Got some targets over on this Target side. Spotted. I want to put down an artillery strike, but I can't right now. I'm too far away a little bit. Um, okay. Leave me alone. Now we've got the artillery strike, Target and now we shoot him in the back. Activate. Come on. Boom. Nice bit of sand blasting to the ass. I'm still waiting for my teammates here who for some reason have stopped their push completely, which I don't agree with at all. Because I'm getting shot by that. <laughs> There's a Fafnir. 96% just stopped the push. It's just like, yep. Let's let's not do anything anymore. That is unfortunate. Um, but okay, we'll make do with it. We'll, we'll try and handle it. And by try and handle it, I mean uh, let's go over to this side. Try and do some more damage and uh, hopefully Hopefully, hopefully pray that these uh, fatties are getting into a fight again, because we need them. Lima, however, is a different story. We can get his side torso here. One shot, should do it. There we go. It's gone. The city should be open as well. Which means we can do some more damage to him, if we can get a shot on him. Which is the case right now. And there, we got the kill. Beautiful. Now we can go on to Vulcan. Ah, I missed him. He's leg though, so that's a good thing for us. A really good thing for us. Shoot him in the back. Destroyed. And get the kill. Nice. New target Juliet coming up. Ooh, holy hell. That's a biggie. 
Oop, I needed that SRM, just got a Brawler build. Um, the thing to do right now is to drop down immediately. Get our nose down. And go around the corner. Be ready for any targets to come up. And then shoot them. And hopefully to have teammates walk in front of me all the time because it is really annoying. And also keeps me from killing them. Let's see what okay. we have here. Bravo. Oh, my friend from before. Let's get his side torso. And now let's get his life. Bye bye. Oh, I missed. Should have gone for the side torso. I didn't do it properly. But that's okay. Let's go for the big guy here. Trying to hit his ass. Didn't quite work 100%, but that's okay. Okay, I can't hit the assault, so I'm gonna go for the health spawn here. Go heat vision, shoot him in the back, get the kill. Go to Juliet, get his side truss off. Nope, never mind, he's dead. Beautiful. Two more targets remain. Let's see what we have here. We have got one up top and one down below. Did I get the leg? No, not quite. Okay, so let's get that hellfire before he runs too far and we can't find him anymore. Boom. Beautiful. And that is it. Wow. A victory! That feels good, ladies and gentlemen. Let, you, let me tell you about that. That feels real good. And we actually did a tiny comeback from a kill deficit in the beginning. Beautiful. Four killing blows, seven assists, two solo kills, three kill most damage dealt, 562 damage done with eight components taken out. Guys, as I said, this thing wants to execute people. This thing wants to um, seal the deal on targets. And that's exactly what we did in our Catapult K2 Shotgun Edition. If you like this content, guys, go ahead, check out my Patreon page, join the ranks of the patrons and become an active supporter of the channel. And we're going to go ahead and jump into the next game. Alright guys, here we are on Forest Colony Classic and the missiles are flying, the PPCs are flying and I'm trying to get to a position where I can do some good here. Um, lots of targets around that Kappa target area. So uh, let's go into the corner here and try and defend this, if we can at all. There's a cataphract coming in, we shoot him a little bit. I see some targets in the background though, maybe that's a juicy target. Oh yeah, that's, a, that's an atlas. Yeah, you get my arm, that's alright, you can have that. Little Arctic Wolf. Finally, some teammates are starting to show up here, but uh, that Arctic Wolf is problematic on this side. Also, I can't do much damage from here, so maybe I need to go around the other side and try to affect some damage from here. We've got a teammate pushing up very far at his assault back. Um, he might be dying already. That's not very smart. I can't drop down my artillery strike right now. So uh, let's follow the teammates in. That's the only thing I can do. Find some targets here and shoot them. And then shoot Artillery this guy. Spotted. Drop the artillery stuff in his face. Artillery Hopefully, do some damage activated. to him. Uh, Miss Lynx is a acquired. little bit frisky. Shoot him in the face. Alright. And I think we can push in a little bit Artillery further now. Acquired. Yep, it looks like it. There's a dire whale. Up there, spotted. UAC 2 build. Very dangerous. So, we shoot him and we try to get to cover as fast as possible. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to be tuckered too much by him, unfortunately. There are no teammates following up on him. So, this might be very, very damaging to me. Let's go around the corner. Alright. We're alive. That's the main thing here. We're still alive. Let's try and get some more damage on him if we can. New target acquired. Ah, he's back to cover now. Okay. There's somebody behind the corner though. It's an Atlas K. AC20 MRMs. Shoot. Twist. Okay, dude. You're fresh and you're ready and you're ripe and you're dead. Target destroyed. There we go. New target acquired. Let's uh, go towards the uh, river area, New I think. Target. It's my friend from before, the Arctic Wolf. We give him a shot in revenge, and now we push back to the river area. New target. There's a lot of targets around here, including a Death Strike and some other guys, Shadowhawk as well, and some stealthy dude is here as well. Mm, I don't like that. There he is. New target. Let's go in on him. Oh, there's the Otto again. Let's go keep shooting him because he is very dangerous, and he needs to lose his sight torso here. Boom! There we go. Target and he's down. Beautiful. Is the Thanatos still down here? Yes, he is. We can go in on Gulf. Up on the Timberwolf. And uh, assist our teammate here. Yep. Timberwolf is not going behind the cover, which is perfect for us. One more shot is needed on his side torso. Ooh, that's a death strike. No, 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 no. Ah, yeah, yeah, he got his side torso. Okay. Well, then we just have a one LB20 at this point. But. One LB20 is better than no LB20, I guess, so let's go in on the Thanatos. No, I can't see him anymore. Um, let's go in on the Shadowhawk. Some more damage to him. Uh, he's gonna be dead, though, so that's good. Target destroyed. Three kills up. Let's go ahead. Oh, there is a Death Strike again. 
Target acquired. He's problematic because he's still quite fresh. Oh, quite fresh is relative, 63%, but no components are open as of yet, and that is the problem. Let's see if we can find him. Okay, he's going this way. Target spotted. Gonna go push around the corner here. Shoot him, twist. Hope he doesn't shoot me directly. I can't shoot the timber wolf above him. But we can go after him on his side torso here, and the arms as well. Yep. Nope. Nice shot in. Come on, come on, recycle. I missed. I missed my shot. I went for side torso hit CT. That's alright. We are getting him. We're getting him. He's dead. Go for S. And side torso, and he's down. Beautiful. Okay, that's it. All targets down. We won. Yay. Beautiful. Got 20 shells left, so that's probably a, a 400 damage game. Um, I think the good thing was if we pushed on the Atlas, that was the key to open up the middle a little bit more. One killing blow, nine assists, one KMDD, 632 damage done, five components taken out. It did take a little bit of unnecessary damage from that Death Strike, but uh, it was important to me to do some damage to him as well as on the Ultraviolet to let this guy not go unpunished because Ultraviolets can really tear your team apart. Well, hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.